Good evening, guys. Welcome to the stream. Oddish, as always. Hello, Scoffy. <laughs> a Castlevania, a wild Castlevania appears, yes. <coughs> this is Time Spinner, which we're going to be playing. Man, I, I'm sure you guys can hear the music. It's just, it's, everything about this, like, just from the menu is, like, super lush. I love it. it reminds me a lot of, like, <coughs> old Super Nintendo games. You guys are going to have to excuse me. I've got... I'm pretty much fine. I'm pretty much over that cold I have, but I get the cough for like weeks. So I, I got some water here. I should be okay. I'll just talk through it. <coughs> but anyway, yeah, plan for night. We're gonna do time spinner for like an hour, hour and a half. So if you guys are interested in getting this, this is gonna be more of a like first look, quick look in the giant bomb sense, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll play this for a while, and then I've got <clears throat> two little indie horror games that I want to get to, because I'm going to be reviewing them this weekend. Um, no idea what kind of <coughs> no idea what kind of quality they're going to be, but I'm ever the optimist, so we'll see. Anyway, let's get to this. Let's start spinning some times. I don't even know what that means, really. But I assume we'll find out. This be over really quick. Even the sound effects are just really nice. Uh, oh, this is cool. <coughs> so, easy difficulty revives you instantly upon dying. And it does lock some achievements. There's normal, and then there's hard. Well, we're doing normal. I don't even think hard's an option until you beat it. <coughs> Planet Windiria. I guess it's really breezy there. Oh, this is cute. Would you make me a cake? Marilla. If you forget, I mean, as long as you got the cake, I think we're cool. <coughs> so, I wonder what's so important. <laughs> You've been chosen to be the next to join the time messengers. Oh, I guess this is a tie-in to the message. Nice. Totally different publishers. This is a chucklefish. Of course, I'm going to go through all this trouble. <coughs> we have to have a of course. Oh. Do, do, do. Okay, so the time spinner is a thing that you go through. Wow, dude. Wow. What a dick. Who invited him, anyway? Yeah, say it to my face. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> ha! Nice, you show him. Like, what, what is this supposed to prove? She has those powers. Like, oh. He flipped the table! Holy moly. They even had a cake ruining sound effect there. She made an extra. Oh my god. Oh, we are swift. Oh, look at that. Cool, okay. <coughs> I mean, he started it. It's my present myself. I like your attitude. Hmm. A lot of high fantasy going on right now. As long as, it, as long as it ends up feeling grounded, I'm okay with that. I do kind of hate it when these games just throw out tons of weird sounding words without really connecting them to anything. <coughs> I got a blue orb. A 
seemingly ordinary crystal ball. Good for bashing foes. Nice. <coughs> they have a hidden power of being able to mimic other magical orbs. Lifting both that there are one for each hand. Alright, so. Oh, this is pretty. I like how ornate it is. Hey, Raging Mule, what's up, buddy? Wow, this is so Castlevania. I got no problem with that. Like, there deserve to be more Castlevanias in the world. It's not like Konami's gonna do it. <clears throat> She's doing the Magneto. <laughs> yeah, practice first and then beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I wonder if they got some history or something. Oh, cool. Wow, sound effects are really nice. <coughs> hey, Absol, what's up, buddy? Orb level. There has to be an orb level, right? I wasn't really paying attention. Commission alchemist to make you this necklace. Oh, so necklaces are spells. That's also very cool. Yeah, looks like they do have levels. Yeah, orb level one, damage three, experience, next 50. Cool, so your weapons level up as well. What levels that mean? Aura Blast. It looks like everything. <coughs> Actually, I wonder, because experience and next don't change. That might just be character level, actually. Yeah, that's kind of Chucklefish's thing, is really great pixel art. I guess that's, that might be one of the criteria for when they pick games to publish. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I just... Ruin that lamp, but I don't think anybody's gonna mind. <clears throat> Man, mom gives the best presents. And there's our makeup cake. <laughs> a little sloppy. Well, don't you be a jerk about this. <laughs> it's cute. Morella's cute. Also, hi Rask. How you doing? Good to see ya. <coughs> I hope that if you go through the gate, we'll end up friends again. That's kind of the way they're talking about this time spinner thing. Is like she ain't coming back, which is a little off-putting. Do I want to talk to you? Oh, oh, it's somebody else. Sorry about Yorn. He'll get over it. Jace would have been happy for you. I wish I could have met him. Hmm. Maybe a bit more going on there than we originally thought. Gianna. Grohan, Farron, and I, and our kids are also proud of you, Lenars. Good luck. This is a neat looking little camp. Oh, you. Hmm. Oh, jealousy. Of course. Freakish hair. There's nothing wrong with her anime hair. Some of us have things we want to lose. Sounded like maybe you had a brother that died, so I can see why I might want to forget about that. Circle inside you. Okay. Should send us both. Uh-oh. Whoa. Clan mother. That escalated in a hurry. Soon this timeline will be no more, and we'll be safe again. <coughs> and we'll never have existed. Wow. 
This time we'll stop the Empire from ever coming here. So it's a clan of time travelers? Whoa. Mune is tearing up to 11 already. This looks really cool. Oh, oh, she gonna get shot. Oh, look at this dude. Emperor Nubius. Dang. Uh oh. Oh. I bet that wasn't supposed to happen. The effects in this are really cool. <laughs> I'll proof your script for you, Scoffy. Time Spinner destroyed everyone dead. Without the Time Spinner, I can't save them. I don't even know where I am. Hmm, okay, that definitely didn't go at all according to plan. Okay, top right, we got the traditional Castlevania map. Is it safe? Yep, save point. Lake Desolation, 1062 AE. Oh, check that background out. She's not on the same planet anymore? Yeah, I wonder if it's just a normal sized dude and just like really, inside really big armor. <coughs> For bonus points, maybe it's like an infant or something. Just suspend the middle of that chest plate. Whoa, hello. What is this all about? <laughs> that was not the first kind of enemy I was expecting to see. A giant spring-loaded chicken head? Go down easy enough. Oh, I can wall climb. Oh, I can fall. Okay. Okay. Alright, I can cling to things. Oh, hello. You need to stop that. Okay, that thing was way meatier. Four hits for those and like a billion for the other ones. Barry picked me up. Popular candy. What is this? A spiky purple fruit. Okay, so those are my items. Usable items. I wonder if we're good finding any roast turkeys in walls. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Alright, well I got a crap load of health, so I'm not too worried about that. Can I I wanna just can I okay. Unless I can kind of repel off of here. No. Nope. Okay. And I know there was another path back to the left where we started. Like, I'll... I'm sure I'll go back and check that eventually. Ow. What is up with these things? Like, that's a really creative enemy. Uh, okay, so I can only hang on to the edges. The edges of ledges, so to speak. I didn't do all that. Hmm. Oh, hello. Can you, can you not? Okay, much better. <laughs> I had enough of the whole Metroidvania thing. Also, hi guys! Welcome to the stream. You might have missed the... Oh! I leveled up. Did I get anything for that? I think... Yeah, my damage changed. I think it went from 3 to 4 and 9 to 12 for these. I get hats, armor, and two trinkets. Item usage. Lackheim. Lack Lackium. 
Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> if you're not a platformer person in the first place, like... Metroid, uh, like, Metroidvania has always struck me as, like, super platformers. Like, uh, what? Hmm. <coughs> okay, so the, the time spinner that sent us here... Why stops and unstops time? Defeating enemies or start stand. Cool. So now we have time control. Boom. Yeah, you can see the hourglass in the top uh, top left. Okay, that's neat. Yeah, time was frozen when I came in here, and now that I have the wheel, I can freeze time. Hello, Manny. Welcome back. Oh good, I can move while I'm charging. That's a plus. You now have Zawaldo. <laughs> Alright, I ain't getting up there. That looks like maybe another piece of the time spinner. <clears throat> yeah, definitely... Yeah, you guys caught into that real real quick. Yes, that is the, the Sands of Time thing. What was what was the last game to use that? I know there I know there had to be other ones. It was too good of a mechanic to just leave alone. So I think I think I head back. Yeah, somebody does need double double jump. <laughs> Ow. Mm. I didn't like that. Boop. I really like doing that. The thing doesn't fall. Did you freeze? Oh! 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 Oh, I bet you're right! Oh, I bet you're right. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm gonna go back and check what's the, uh, what's on the left side of where we started, and then we'll go back and we're totally gonna do that chicken head thing. We are totally gonna do that. Good call, Obsol. Oh, maybe this is fast travel. Yeah, Barry, pick me up. Yeah, that's got to be a fast travel portal. Yeah, I think anyone would be forgiven for thinking this is an extremely cute Castlevania game. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I can totally use those platforms. Yeah, okay. Sweet. I wonder... What are those green things I pick up? Entropy, maybe? Oh, Rask, you finally got around to playing Subnautica. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. That is... Subnautica, I think, is one of my top five all-time games. On Steam, at least. I might need you over here. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Y'all come over here. I need your help. There we go. Yes. Yes, treasures. I got an old coat. <laughs> okay. Musty old coat on the verge of falling apart. Better than nothing. I'll take it. And we ain't going through there, huh? Subnautica is absolutely worth playing all the way through. Um, 
it does some really cool stuff near the end. There's some really cool biomes to go to. Um, some of them get, get a little bit troublesome, depending on the upgrades that you have for your vehicles. Um, and the, the, the very end game sequence is a bit fetch questy, but there's, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. They, there are some really cool sequences in that last part. One of my favorite things about Subnautica is like so many people go into it and they discover that they have this like intent. I can use that to get up there. Okay, cool. Uh, they discover they have this intense fear of the ocean. Um, the end. Oh, I need you to. There we go. Much better. <coughs> Sand up. Um, near the end of the game. The developers, oh, that's a mind refresh, a refresh. A medical aerosol inhaler restores 30 aura. Aura's magic, my blue bar. Um, the developers really get that. They really understand that fear of the ocean because there's a thing you have to do at the, oh, I can even hang on them. That's cool. All right, I think we gotta keep going this way. There we go. What is this? One of Mother's memories. Sounds memory. I can't believe it's a temporary one as it always is, but I've been here a while. The image is hazy as a long time ago, and speaking of my mother and the elder is selling. She says what is our duty? I'm young, a child. <coughs> Quaylons is a sacred guardian of the time spinner. Why must we protect this? Ancient's powers are dangerous. Well, yeah, time travel. Jesus. If in the wrong hands, all the universe could be changed. How do we protect it? So the time messenger is a temporal warning system. They go back and warn the clan if there's a threat. Only as a last resort. When the messenger used the time spinner, they are erased from history. They never existed until they rejoined the clan. That's why there's no paradox. <clears throat> We've been here long, resources have become scarce, we should move on soon. Can I train to be a time messenger? Huh, okay. Oh, I have a journal. Memories, letters. Down downloads, quests, and it. Let's see how many enemies there are. Eighty, not bad. Oh, and feats. Okay, cool. Cool, very promising. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of time juice. Oh, this restores it. That's good. Boop. Okay. Ha. <coughs> that secret wall, yes! Love it. Could just... Mm. I have to get used to the distance on these orbs. It's messing me up. Max health. Cool. I didn't notice. Did the bar get longer there? I'm assuming it did. Oh, that was that was a terrible move. I thought it was gonna be all all clever and get up in his grill, and he was like, "Nope." Oh, there's nothing up here anyway. And now he's down there. All right. Well, I hope none of you are tuning in for like a no-hit speed run or anything. That ain't happening. I'll have to check the next time I get one of those upgrades, because right now my health and magic bars end in the same place. Which means I have less magic, relatively speaking. Oh, you chill. Okay. Oop. 
I was actually, uh... Yeah, I think, I think if you've got the time to warm up a shot, it can be worth it. Ow. Yeah. I think for the most part, I, I might as well just... Ow! Stupid thing. I really want to know what the story is behind these heads. Yay. Standard save point seems to restore all of your uh, all of your stuff when you stop at it. Okay, we cleave through those now. I wonder if I can get enough air off of him. <laughs> Holy moly! Try that again real quick. Okay, there's a delay on, on refreezing. So I gotta get this one just right. Oh, come on. Oh! Okay. I'm not gonna spend forever doing this, but I'm gonna do this. That really should have been it. <clears throat> you can put you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You can probably do it. That has to be it. Come on! There. Okay. So now we've graduated to definitely can do it if I don't screw it up. Oh god. I'm seriously watching the viewer count drop every single time I attempt this. Okay, I did it. All right, you guys that left, then can, you can come back now. <laughs> what is that? That's really cool. <coughs> oh, this looks like a boss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and save. I, yeah, I did it, Scoffy. I stopped sucking. Briefly. Very briefly. No, no telling how well that's gonna keep up. <coughs> no telling how bad this going how badly this is gonna go. Wow, that hurts. Okay. Uh... Okay, so he didn't like that. Ooh. Oh my god, guys! <coughs> There's a backdash that I need to be using. Backdashed into that. Hey, cool. That wasn't too bad. Laser cat. Blade or I got a new weapon. Or a crystallized blades that slices foes. Neat. Okay, so it is, that is individual orb level then. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm gonna go all in on blade though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, the enemies in this are pretty cool. They're, oh, what's this? Whoa. Lockheim ships. 
What if I haven't gone through time, but... I'll make him pay. So this actually has like kind of like, it's like a fantasy sci-fi thing going on. That's cool. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm extremely down for that. Okay, so this is... I guess I don't have access to the fast travel system yet. Varndegray Metropolis. Look at that. I don't know what the hell it is. Raging Mule, thank you so much for the subscription. I really appreciate that. I know, like, Saturn is... It's just biding its time. It's waiting. Oh. Now I'm gonna get all wet. I... I really, I really want an explanation for the chicken heads, because this is apparently a theme with Lockheim. Varn... Varn... Varndegray? <clears throat> oh, I got another memory. A message. Alright, I'm gonna kind of skip through these a bit. I'm not in the mood to read a whole bunch. Seen strange things in the sky. They sent a scout to the city. Ships from the stars. They're called Lakheim and they bring great gifts for trade in exchange for our world's resources. The city folks say they seem friendly. They're soldiers. <coughs> ancients. They're always ancients. So Lockheim is like an like an alien empire. And the city was already here and Lockheim took it over, is what I'm getting from this. Stuff for La Milana 2, good luck with that. I'm considering doing La Milana and La Milana 2 for uh, Platform February this year, next year. But I feel like that'd be a huge, huge, huge time sink, because I am not really smart enough for those games. Uh Lockheim is looking for the time spinner. In my timeline, they found it, forced us to tell them its location. Interesting, okay. So a previous time, time messenger came back to warn them about Lockheim. Screwing everything up. With their autonomous chicken heads. Ow! What a dick. I guess it'd be a cock, wouldn't it? <coughs> La Milana 2 is a bit more accessible with its puzzles. That's what I need. I have like two or three hours in La Milana, and I got to the bottom of some like giant pit. And I couldn't find... I was having trouble getting back out of it, and I had literally no... Oh my god. Chicken heads! I had literally no idea where to go from there. They're being really generous with the health upgrades. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what? <laughs> this is the receptionist? Welcome to the... Man, this is so... I mean, I gotta say, it really, really feels like... This feels so much like Symphony of the Night. Like, it feels like whoever made this just stopped at Symphony of the Night and was like, I'm doing this. But with time travel and aliens. Should have picked hard... No. I know how that goes. Hard mode was locked anyway, but I guarantee you the beginning would have gone fine, and then we absolutely would have hit a boss that just, like, would have been an immovable object for me. But this is totally the long library from, uh, from Symphony of the Night. The music, the, even the art style to a degree. That accent, you must be from the colonies. I just love your rustic accents. Windaria. So is... <coughs> so is Windaria colony? It's a separate plant, the magnificent Ahumua. Okay, so Lockheim... Okay, so I'm on the planet where that alien empire came from. I get a tablet. Oh, government issued ID. Slipped your sponsor's mind. Ah, 
How nice. Personal device that no one should live without. Downloads files from computers. Ah, so that's how we download things. The student of history, I believe everyone should have the opportunity to learn about the founding of our glorious empire. Hmm. I bet you do. You have anything else to say? Alright, so... Relics. They even have a relic menu. With that random ass on off button that the Castlevania games have for no reason. Don't read this tablet. <laughs> <coughs> also, I just happened to notice on the uh, on the menu that we are. What is this? Oh, maybe this goes to keycard door. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Well, let's find some stuff to download. Elana the Great. Uh, I guess that's her, up above the naked people. So I was more interested in the naked people. I'm sure you can appreciate that. There's a bird on that desk. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Ka the Merchant Crow's Shiny Stuff Emporium. <laughs> Indie games love breaking the fourth wall these days, I've noticed. Like, that, that tends to be what their comedy relief character does, is just annihilate the fourth wall. Sunglasses, of course. Trendy jacket. Hmm, interesting. A shiny rock. Clearly someone thinks that this is more valuable than it actually is. A biscuit. Uh, a delectable pastry made with large amounts of butter. Uh, I can't tell if this is British biscuit or like Deep South biscuit from that description. Essence crystal. Enchanted jewelry, cool. Used by used by alchemists to create things. I wonder if there's crafting in this game too. That'd be a hell of a thing. Happy, happy day. Don't get sand in your eyes. It's an expression. Yeah, I like him too. He's cool. I am down with that bird. Oh, fast travel. And treasure. Key card. Oh, that was easy. They just left it by their portal thing. It would be made with Crisco, wouldn't it? <coughs> Good point. Man, I haven't had biscuits in ages. My dad used to make them. Oh! What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Ether. Restores Aura. Scythe ring. Surrounds melee orbs with spinning scythes that slice enemies. Passive rings in the... Oh, that sounds super cool! Uh, in the orbs menu? Yes, here we go. Oh, look at that! Oh, now I guess they, they just do damage when they touch things, too. Colossal blade. Vivisex enemies with the giant blade. It's a spell necklace. Well, cool. I could use something a little, with a bit more impact than that Aura Blast. Kind of curious... Oh, recent. I was, like, why, I, w I was wondering why I was doubling up in the menu. I guess maybe you can find so many that it just gets overwhelming. That is a big-ass blade. I think I'm in love. I don't think that's happening. 
<coughs> Ooh, download? Emperor Nuvius. Nuvius Erovia has been the ruler of the Empire of Lackheim since 1045. That's only 16 years? Yeah, damn is right. <laughs> Giant anime swords. Great Emperor's reign not only sees a home world, but many habitable exoplanets have been discovered and colonized through the Ernia galaxy. Nuvius, Nuvius was born in Varndegre Metropolis as the only child of the Emperor Leonius in 1013. Natural aptitude for magic. Following traditional rites of succession, challenged his father to mortal combat. Being the victor, Nuvius ascended to the throne. Interesting. This empire sounds like shit. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need a different key card for that. All right, we'll go through that door. I wanna head up in the library first. I think that's a pretty good way to sum this up so far. Dark Sands of Castlevania. <coughs> Lackheim is a moon of the gas giant planet Corandar. So that, okay, so the big Saturn looking thing is the actual planet, and Lackheim's the moon. The only life bearing planet in the solar system of Parat Anka. They're getting. Go, it's starting to go a little crazy with the fantasy names now. Do, 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 do. Developing space technology in 928. Their benevolent rule. If they have to specify benevolent, benevolent rule, it isn't. When there is a small pastoral planet. Imperial spaceship Ambition made a successful voyage to Windaria, but remained in, or in orbit to study it. Hmm. Despite a few minor rebellions, the Empire's relationship with Windaria is considered to be very positive. Yeah, I don't think the... the um... See, I can't keep these names straight already. The Time Mages, yes, thank you. I, I don't think the Time Mages are representative of the of the Windian population. Soul Scanner just plays the names of foes in their hit. Okay, so let's let's talk about this for a minute, because this is essentially a Castlevania game with the vampire bits filed off. And I'm okay with that. I know some people get a bit up in arms over ripoffs and games that tread too close to existing properties. I don't have so much of a problem with that as long as they bring something new to the table. And while this shares the Castlevania style really, 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 really closely in terms of plot and also just general game feel, it does, it, like, it's definitely different enough for me. It, um, it's kind of reminding me of, um, what was that game called? Something Planet. The game that was basically a Sonic game. That came out a couple years ago. Something Planet. I really liked that one, actually. I, it, it, to be perfectly honest, I liked... Freedom Planet, thank you. Thank you so much. To be perfectly honest, I liked... Freedom Planet more than most Sonic games. I'm talking about the classic ones, not the modern ones that literally everybody hates. <laughs> I enjoyed that game a lot. Cool. Oh. I was about to say, you don't look very friendly to me. Ow! The grenade hurt. I got a security visor. A flimsy plastic visor for blocking out riot gas. How do visor block out gas? <clears throat> yes, if you if you guys have not played Freedom Planet, definitely look into it. It is, in my opinion, one of the best Sonic games ever made. You know what? You know what I think of this guy? That's what I think of that guy. 
Also, I don't think I will ever unequip these scythe orbs because I don't have to hit these lamps anymore. Oh, I can knock his I can knock his little stupid grenade back. Not that matters, because I'm just gonna annihilate him. <clears throat> that is sweet indeed. Alright. Yeah, I want those lamps too. They're pretty they're pretty great. Oh that's cool. I like I, I like non-standard platforms in platformers. My favorite parts of the older Castlevania games is always when you get to a room with like unique assets, like a you know, like a big dining table or a special bookshelf you could Is that like an Imperial Roomba, you think? Oh, it's a sentry. I think it would be really funny if it was some kind of cleaning like cleaning drone. You idiot. You absolute moron. Bestiary, do we have that? Enemies, yes, here we go. Here we go, here we go, okay. How do you suppose you pronounce that? Shivo Shivor? <laughs> Modeled after an extinct bird of prey, so... I wonder if this is kind of like if the bald eagle went extinct and... America started designing all its, like, war drones to look like bald eagle heads. Which, you know, is obviously a thing that's gonna happen someday. The way things are going. <clears throat> Jerky? I love jerky. Strips of dried meat. Perfect snacks for traveling. <coughs> <coughs> so my co work Whoa, what? Okay, I officially love these scythe orbs. That is great. Okay, so yeah, your bar your your bars don't move when you get uh, upgrades. I guess the proportion just changes. Alright, well, we're obviously not getting in there. Oh, can I actually use this now? No. God damn it. Yeah, Cyborg's OP. You got that right. Oh. This isn't like anything we've ever seen before, and we don't even have all the pieces. Genza wants it working again by the end of the week. We've only had it for a couple weeks. That's madness. I'm gonna need some coffee. Go, go girl. Get in there. Yeah, oh. Oh, it's the entire frame of the thing. <coughs> yeah, they've had this for a couple weeks. So I guess... Okay, so I, I guess it's going to be safe here, as long as I have the pieces. Alright. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, I'm one of those people that I, I hate it when devs go kind of crazy nerfing single player games like it just it makes no sense to me like if you have a single player game the emphasis should be on enjoying it like if it's if it's easier than you expected but if people actually like it if they like it like that leave it add in a hard mode that works the way you intended like don't don't take that joy away from people I think that's the big thing, you know, if you want to make, if you want to make a blistering hard platformer or whatever, like, go ahead and do that from the onset, but if you release a game, and after the fact you discover it's too easy, like, I don't think that's really just up to you. It's hugely dependent on how much people are actually enjoying the game, as it is, you know? Should not, should that not be the point? of a game is to be enjoyable. I'm getting sloppy with these things. 
because I'm not using my giant sword. What's <coughs> up? Hang on a sec. This is a big ass building. I love this thing. <laughs> People do hate fun, don't they? And I just, I don't get it. Just, just let people be. Let people have their fun. Why not? Kind of foresee these vents getting pretty confusing. What happens if I just... Okay, I can't half charge that. It has to be all or nothing. Oh, cool. I can get up there. <sighs> yeah, I... I... I totally know what you're saying, Opsil. <laughs> I think, I think the core problem there is there are too many gamers out there that link their, their performance in games, their ability in games, to their own personal worth. And so they get extremely protective of that and they need it to be an exclusive thing. They need to feel like they're the only person that can do something. So they seek out those games that are like punishingly hard, that most people just don't have the patience for. And they say, well, I can do this. I'm hardcore enough for this. Oh, I can finally use those elevators, awesome. I, I know, Scoffy, that's gonna drive me insane. It always does with games like this. If I, I mean, this treasure over there, I gotta get that. <coughs> that drives me absolutely batty when there's a section of the map that I can't Like, I'm gonna go back right now and get that treasure chest. It's probably just jerky or whatever, but you know what? I need that jerky. There was a there, there was a room like that in uh, in the messenger. There was there was some kind of floor incline that just would not let me fill in below it, and it was driving me absolutely nuts. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's totally the same with, like, music elitists. I think just elitism in general, like, why, like... I get why people want to exclude others from their friends. Well, that was cool. That grenade actually blew up that sentry for us. I get why people want to exclude others from their fun, but it's just priorities, you know? It's, it's selfish. It's, it's very much a selfish act. Oh, that's as high as it goes. Man, these things are gross. Yeah, they're dead. Kind of close quarters to be fighting that thing. <clears throat> this is a really big place. Ah, oh, boss time. The spindle gathers the threads of time. That's cool. This the wheel in the frame, we can use it again. That's cool. I'll do one better. Ooh. We're gonna kill Hitler. How long is the game supposed to be? I don't know. <coughs> oh shit. That's um Okay. Yikes. Whoa! 
Those took quite a bit of damage. What even the hell is this thing, you think? I just realized I have not been using my Time Stopper this whole time. There we go. Whoa. The music for this is great, too. Ow. Yes. I think I'm gonna need an item or two to get through this. I love the way the pupil dilates when it's about to smash you. Oh. There we go. Ah, that almost worked out. That's actually pretty good. Main main quest four and a half. Side quests another four. Completionist like three more after that. Yes, I didn't actually need an item for that. Go me. All right. All right, guys. Important question coming up because we've hit the one hour mark with this, and this does seem like a good place to stop. So. Before I get into this, um, I want to get the discussion started. Uh, since this seems like a pretty cool game so far, do you want me to go ahead and roll on to the other games I have planned for tonight, or you guys want to see a little bit more of this? I will leave it up to you. What the what are you? <coughs> okay, we have a pet now. Just because. Scoffy Boat Scary Games. Well, there's a bunch of you who like to see the other games. Okay, cool. Ah, he's helping. Alright. Nice. Well, I am glad I was able to share this with you guys, because this does seem really cool so far. So we will book it out of here. That is Time Spinner, my friends. On the store page, it doesn't actually have all that many reviews, just like 200 or so. So it feels kind of like it's flown a bit under the radar, which seems to happen a lot with Chucklefish games, I've noticed. They've got like, you know, they've got Stardew Valley and they've got um, Starbound. But it really kind of feels like everything else they've made, like people hardly know about. Like how many of you guys know about, um, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name of it. Oh my god, hang on a sec. I'm gonna look it up. Because this, this is a game you really should know about. You deserve to know about. Halfway. How many of you guys have heard of the game Halfway? I bet none of you. Halfway is a uh, XCOM style sci fi tactics game that takes place on a derelict spaceship and is really cool it's hard as hell it's extremely hard like all of, all the memes about like having like an 85 percent chance to hit an XCOM and missing the percentages in halfway are like super punishing but it's kind of built around that yeah <laughs> manny <laughs> yeah manny if you can't hit if you can't deal with those Hit percentages, halfway would kill you, for sure. All right, let me change what we're playing in Twitch. We are gonna play. Play with me. All right. All right. My friends, this game is called Play With Me. It is an indie point-and-click horror game. <coughs> yeah, other games definitely aren't for everybody. They're some of my favorites, honestly. 
Oh yeah, Steam World Heist. I really wanted to play that one. What's going on? Oh, here we go. Okay. Make sure everything is actually running correctly for this. I've only played the the, <coughs> the original Steam World, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. I didn't finish it though. For better experience, you should wear headphones with a microphone. Play with me. Oh boy, guys. Check the options real quick. Language, English. Select a difficulty. Torture of mind. Normal. Normal. Or, let's go torture of mind. Tips, yes. We might be messing with that. Yeah, I've heard SteamWorld 2 dig is a big improvement. All right. You know, let's just get into this. Um, this is not this is not originally an English game. I think it might be Russian. I'm not sure. Start the game. Select the available game mode. Select the difficulty. Normal contains hints for riddles. Nah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> On December twelfth, December nineteen ninety. Investigative journalist Robert Hoke and his wife went out to celebrate his birthday. On their way back home, something happened. It has changed their life forever. I'm kind of in love with this guy's accent. Okay, well that was definitely a body being dragged away. <clears throat> Robert woke up in a dark room. The only sign telling him he was still alive was a terrible headache. And also being able to move around and do things. Presumably. <laughs> Just because you can't see something Rain. doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Rain. I think I had an accident. Yeah, I think you did too. Today is your birthday. We have to go out. Why did I let her convince me? Sarah. It's her birthday. Sarah? Sarah! Is there anybody here? What is this sign? Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What's this inscription? You just, you read it, you know what it is now. Is there anything? Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What's this inscription? Do we need to be? Ah, here we go. Question marks. What is this place? What are these? Are these hands? That I bet that bug is going to be there in the middle of the screen, like this whole time, just forever. I've been chained to some pipe. I can only look at something from afar. New task. Free yourself from the chains and find Sarah. I have a headache meter up here. Code for the chain. Helping hand. What's that all about? Oh, okay. I had to right click to... I have to free myself somehow. I can only look at something from far away. Okay. Do we have any numbers on anything? I see a key over there. I have to free myself somehow. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I can only look at something from far away. for the chain. Oh, I can actually type it in. Ten digits? Hmm. Incorrect code? Hmm. Incorrect code? I have to free code I know. for the chain. Yeah. Hmm. 
Something we may perceive differently at close range than we would from far away. I can see there's a... Oh, I can make it out on the stream. 10821. Code chain. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> it's the old calculator trick. Gets you every time. The chest go. has a lock. You need a key. I found a key. The chest has a lock. Okay, shut you your face. Okay, it's opened. Wow, he's just gonna comment on everything. This is a picture of my wife, Sarah. Whoa. Whoa, guys, I am tripping. <laughs> Why would he even let you down? Not sure it will ignite. Where's this phone? Someone's coming. Luckily. Sir, please, can you help us? We've had an accident. What are you doing? Robert, help! Leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> My dictaphone turned itself on during the accident. <laughs> I said, sir, who was this person? Holy moly. What has he done to her? Why didn't he help us? That's a face spinner, obviously. This is my article. Maybe it is. I wrote it six months ago. The same morning near the river Trout, a body of a 42-year-old man had been found. The body of Gabriel Brick, who was acquitted last week. He had been accused of breaking armed robbery. Due to insufficient evidence, the case had been dismissed. The initial medical examination shows his poison, cause of death. Illusion. So illusion is their serial killer. What? Okay. I am going to do that every time. Oh, you can't do it with this one. That's a shame. I like the little details, like you brush your hand over the bottle and it uh, it shakes like that. Alright, let's see what else we got. Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it Robert, doesn't shut exist. Up. Okay, I visited the old biddy. I didn't want to kill her. It's not my fault. She woke up when I was pulling out the jewelry. Can I go now? Can you let me go? Uh... Did did you kill her? Did you? No. So What's that supposed to mean, Sarah? You killed her. If I type in the code in the panel next to me, I will unlock this door. It's my car cloth. It's used to distribute wax. I always take distribute care of it. Distribute wax. You can consider someone a real man by the way he takes care of his car. Where did my things come from? Who placed them here? And why? I was about to compliment the main character's voice acting just in the delivery, but that was just him reading off a list of lines that had That's to be broken. said. On the other side in Dorset, we explain unexplained. Radio Dorset, Mike and Steve. Ah! Spooky eyeball. All right, so what do we got? What do we got in our pack? <laughs> got a cloth. We got a bottle. And we got matches. Electronic lock. On this keypad, I can enter a code. Then I should be able to open the door. All right, so we do need a code. This chest is empty. Hmm. Did you guys see anything that looked particularly codish while we were going over? Damn bug. Electronic lock. Hmm. Incorrect code? Incorrect code? And that's not. Yeah, it's the same code. Any numbers on here? This is my article. I wrote it six months ago. Circulation 152 copies. Electronic like lock. Hmm. Incorrect code? 
I feel like I probably need to use Looks broken. These items I've got. Check blood. Don't seem to be able to check anything. Oh, phone! phone. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank Let's you, hope this God. Works. It's cool, guys. I just need to check. I just need to click on this one particular spot in the pitch blackness over here. There's a note. Is there anything else? Just the inscription. All right. Well, anyway, I got a phone. Oh, look at that. What's your? I need a pin number. Oh, so it's not his phone. Oh my God. Check blood behind your picture. What? You guys are so helpful. Where's this phone? Someone's coming, luckily. Sir, please, can you help us? We've had an accident. What are you doing? Robert, help! Leave me alone! Ah! My dictaphone turned itself on during the accident. It's the ad that gets me. I said, sir, who was this? This is a picture of my wife, Sarah. There are numbers here. Ah, look at that. Okay, so interaction here is going to be a little bit more involved than usual. That's kind of cool, because there's no indication I could have done that. I just got to try stuff. 5333. Electronic lock. Hmm. Incorrect code. Let's the phone, then. Reminds you of why you don't like hidden object games? Yeah. I need a PIN number. Phone unlocked. I need to call 112 for help. I received a new text message. Who the hell is... I'll get to you in a minute. Shut up. God damn it, it's breaking up. The reception is... There must be another reason. Maybe I'll try again later. Holy moly. Alright, we're gonna check that message. It's from Patrick Clark. I might know who the illusion is within the next hour. Oh, oh, yeah, we are absolutely playing Super Worm. It's a bad idea for me to play now. Now shut up. What was that? Maybe it's because of the accident. I have hallucinations. Okay, so I guess they really don't want me to play phone games right now. Alright, so we still gotta get out of this room. I can wipe things, I can... I don't know if the bottle has anything in it. Okay, there was some other stuff on here. Messages, riddle... Settings. Nope, had maybe. Robert, you can make notes here. This code may be useful to you. 6103, do not delete the note. Well then. Electronic lock. Great. That was it. I will okay. be able to leave the room. I figured it had to have something to do with the... Me <laughs> I had to click and drag... I had a feeling it had to be something with the phone, since that was the main puzzle in that room. What the hell you want? Hello? Play with me. That's what I'm doing. Who is this? What the? Roll what credits. That? Roll credits. All right, what do we got in here? 
pretty hard here. The chest has a keypad. Of course it you does. You need a code. Brazier. I could set fire to it. This brazier could actually warm me up. Oh, I wonder if I'm freezing right now. I kind, I kind of hope it is his wife. Okay, that was cool. Light it. Light it, dipshit. But I just... Come on, man. Oh! 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 I didn't have to poke around in the dark. I can actually look at things. To be honest, I thought we would spend this evening together. Green syringe in the chest will slow down the poison in your body. We're doing what the now? The has a lock. You need a key. He seems really okay with this. To be honest, I thought we would spend this evening together. At the end of the day, today's your birthday. I'll just check on Patrick for a moment. During last year, you have spent more time with this detective of yours than you have ever spent with me. Sarah, please. I've been writing about Illusion for three years. If Patrick's telling me he found the only person who ran away from him, then I have to... I'm sorry I keep cutting that off, but I don't want to freeze to death. Patrick? Patrick Clark. Patrick, run. Oh no. Some things we may perceive differently close range than we would from... I don't know, because the note cuts off. Can you stop fucking turning off? Can I wipe this blood? That's funny, I can just wipe stuff up whenever I want. Also, I might freeze to death in here. How can I use this? Good idea. Oh. I could do with some fire now. Oh, I had, oh, I guess it was full of flammable liquid then. Good thing they let me know. At least now I have more time before I freeze. This should slow down the lowering oh, of the temperature. There's something. That's weird. It says plus two two plus. The chest has a keypad. You need a code. Hmm. Incorrect. The chest well, actually, has a keypad. No, it won't, it won't actually do. I hit the plus on my numpad and it put those K's in there for some reason. So that means the codes could also be words. You set them up in the room after finding out a split personality. That'd be funny. Patrick? Patrick? Patrick Clark. The chest has a lock. You need a key. The temperature is still dropping. I have to hurry up. Otherwise, I'll freeze. Well, if these damn matches would stop going out, it'd be okay. Nearly okay, but I must do it faster. A giant ass spider. Okay, so I guess this is marking how much time we. Stupid goddamn thing. Plus 22 minus, we're, we're getting minus 10. Also there's an ax right there. I feel like that would be really useful. The temperature is still dropping. Hmm. I have to hurry up, otherwise I'll freeze. Oh no, the, the thermometer is actively dropping, like it's down to 15 now, negative 15. I think that's a timer until I die. Um, 
I'm gonna wipe everything. Um, my phone do anything at the moment? Set the ringtone. Yeah, I think we're going to that one. Pick up axes. I wish I could pick up that damn axe. Game time, level, signal, battery, memory card, worm record. Pew pew. Oh. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Game over, man. That's cool. Man, fuck off, bug. Alright, this isn't really getting us anywhere, though. What do you suppose this means? 22. Plus... Oh! 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 I can move that. Zero, zero, plus 22. The chest has a keypad. We need it. Hmm. Incorrect code? There must be another part of it. Oh, of course, I can slide things. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Hopefully I can work this out before I die. Was that it? Just a key? Oh, 48. Zero, zero, 022248. The chest has a keypad. You need a code. Hmm. Huh. Incorrect code? Or not. The I chest has a lock. One. You need a key. Okay. I feel better, but only a bit. Okay, so I, I get this, I get this, I get this. Nearly okay. Shut up, Robert. Okay, so zero, zero, and then there were red arrows pointing to the brazier. And then down here. And then over here. And then these arrows across the floor and up into this room. Also, I'm not sure how low this can get, but we are freezing pretty bad here zero zero twenty two forty eight oh yeah I might be for hmm. incorrect code It's not a math problem, is it? Is it 70? Hmm. I don't know why it would be a chest has a keypad. Hmm. No. Incorrect code? Hmm. There's a lot of kind of pixel hunting here. Not like super pixely or anything, but I wonder if I should Patrick? Yeah, shut up. This should this should slow down the lowering of the temperature. The chest has a keypad. You need a code. Keep typing numbers starting with zero zero. I'm trying to move everything now. Hi Cornudo, what's up, buddy? Welcome. We are playing play with me. Trying to get out of this room before he freezes to death, and I don't think it's gonna happen. Personally. We've got we've got two things here. We've got a keypad for this door, and we've got this uh, coded chest. Can't speak friend and enter. We found some numbers. There's zero zero over here, plus, and then two two here, and then over here is four plus forty-eight. 
And I've tried 0, 0, 22, 48 as the codes, and that doesn't work. Actually, you know, I haven't tried it everywhere I could. This, that was just a four digit code. Correct code. Oh yeah, maybe I missed one. Uh, try wiping stuff. So like, okay, so this arrow points this way. The brazier points down to this one. This one points to the box. Is it just zero zero? Check has a keypad. Huh. No, it's not that. Correct code. It does have a very hidden object game art style, doesn't it? And then these arrows across here to this room. Which I can open and close at will. The temperature is still dropping. Some things we may perceive differently at close range than we would from... What does that mean exactly? What do you suppose that means? Two two four eight. The chest has a keypad. Hmm. Huh. Incorrect code. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Incorrect code. Chest has a keypad. You need a code. This could have up to ten. I guess they all could. Hmm. The chest has a key. Huh. Hmm. Incorrect. I keep getting excited when I hear that click, but it's not actually doing it. It's below thirty degrees now. Not sure we're much longer for this earth. Strike a match. Nearly okay. It's hard to see if there even is something down there in the darkness. There's that note. up there. That's so annoying. Move candle. Can I move the candle? The candle is burning already. This this chest is em this chest is empty. Hmm. It does kind of feel like there must be another piece of the code that we're not seeing. This should slow. This should slow down the lowering of the temperature. Can I burn my cloth? This could 
a weird noise there for a second. Can you slide it? This should No, this unfortunately should slow not. Down the lowering of the temperature. This should this should slow down the lowering of the temperature. Oh, I can't oh I can't return the previous location. That's interesting. Might be something in here I missed. That's real helpful. <laughs> it's dark. Much better. Looks, looks broken. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we missed anything in here that I can see. To try moving some stuff around, I guess. This chest is empty. So if you get that pointer finger, I don't think... Oh yeah. The door. Hmm. I'm, cu I'm curious if that reset the, the timer on the temperature. We might have reset our personal timer, but why a boar's head? That's a weird place for that interaction. All right, get annoyed. Let's see, there's. Uh, there's one guide and it's a video guide. Barf. What about run? The chest has a keypad. Hmm. I can put letters into these things too. Hmm. Incorrect code? Wait, what is this? Helping hand. What did I just do? Going to help me now? Patrick? Patrick Clark. Wipe the words, okay. Let's try that. Oh, it doesn't come off. I said I could try calling the stuff from here. Anybody wants to go and look at another playthrough and figure out what you're supposed to do here? I don't mind at all. God damn it, it's breaking up. The reception is... There must be another reason. Maybe I'll try again later. Ah, uh, okay. And zero zero doesn't seem to want to wipe. Nothing... I haven't been able to wipe anything in here. Unfortunately. I said 88. Oh, I... The codes might be randomized. So, in the one you watched... So, we found three code pieces. Zero, zero on the wall. 22 on, in the blood. And 48 in the closet. Did... In the one you watched, did they find any other ones? Am 
might have just used up this claw. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be doing me any good at the moment. What's that number on the blue box? Nope, doesn't look like anything on the blue box. Did you find the key in the closet? Yes, I used that to open this chest here. And I injected myself with stuff. There's a door on the right. The sliding one? We opened that one earlier. There's a key in here. The only thing I found in here was the key and this piece of paper that said 48. Oh, that would be hilarious if it was just bugged. If this does turn out to be bugged, we might be saying goodnight to this one a little bit early. Try the other number combinations. Should I be trying them on the chest or the keypad? I'll we'll just start trying stuff. Zoom in on the correct code. How do you this chest is empty? The code of the chest has nothing to do with the numbers. This chest is empty. I don't think there's a way to hang on a sec. Jesus, okay. Walk through shit. Yeah, I, so I'm missing. I'm missing a number. Zoom in on the. Oh wait, wait, wait. Thing about in the darkness. Okay. Where was that? Nearly okay. The chest contain. Oh great, the chest. Oh for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, 41871. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. The chest has a keypad. Okay. There Let's we go. Open. Christ almighty. There's only some note in here. 00222268. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was pretty explicitly because I didn't know you could zoom in on things. Scary shadow. Uh, oh god. It's an orgy of evidence. Okay, where we got it? Okay, have it your way. My husband did not shoot himself in the head on his way from a drunken escapade. That evening he stayed at home. I killed him because I was sick of his constant moaning. At least I could then sit down in front of the TV in peace and quiet and watch a cookery show. Wow, crazy. So crazy. Shell casing. Does it come from this gun? <laughs> Glass. Ordinary broken glass. Ordinary Why is it here? Broken glass. Gun? gun? I never owned a gun. It what? doesn't belong to me. It's best not to touch it. What is gun? It's my shoe. Why is it here? Is this blood? But why are there no traces of blood on me? Maybe it's Sarah's blood. I hope this is not Sarah's blood. But Sarah's mobile, for sure. I'm sure of it. Oh, she did. It's completely destroyed. Is this Sarah's strand of hair? I hope I'm wrong. Yikes. Oh, he has the evil within two camera. Wow, it's not interactable. That's absurd. It's a picture of Sarah and I. What's going on? That particular background effect sounds like somebody's stomach growling. The chest has a lock. Of course you it need does. need a key. Since it pays off to look carefully. Something is... Something's off about this. A, B, C, D. Page? It's written really strangely. D, 
Yeah, jump scare noise for finding a clue. Computer doesn't work. No power. Jump, Somehow, jump scare noises for everything in this. There's my key. Robert? Robert Hoke? Clark, thank God. We've had an accident. I don't know where I am and w what happened to Sarah. Call the police. Robert, I can't. What? What are you talking about, Patrick? Call the police, goddammit! He got him too. In a minute, you will get a text message. Find this code. Help me. What text message? What are you talking about? Patrick! Patrick? Hello? Boop, boop, boop. Help Clark find the code. We have 20 minutes to do that. They love their timers in this. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this uh, this bar up here that says fine is also ticking down. I guess that's for the Magnifying poison. Magnifying glass. It enlarges the picture quite well. I hate that I have to keep pulling the stuff back out. Don't touch. Plus pillar. These little items that you like, that kind of change your perception are pretty cool. Robert is a murderer, says you. Part of the code panel, 325. It reminds me of a cord, a bear. but I can't tear it. I think a knife could cut it. This is a test. Don't touch. This is me. Plus pillar here. May magnify glass? Uh, you can't you can't use your inventory while you're here. Oh, they did say I'd be getting a text message, right? In a room with a gold pillar, every now and then someone moves a jar and wood. The course of events change thanks to which Robert saves Patrick's life. Pillar, jar, wood. How can I use this? How do you think, dumbass? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I was able to scrape that part off. Holy moly, I can, okay. There's a number there. 98. Okay, okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Plus 325, plus 98. Three, two, so 32598. Pillar. Jar. Jar. Wood. Jar wood pillar. Wood, 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 wood. 
Holy cow. Jar plus pillar equal computer Patrick. Jar. What? Jar plus pillar equal computer. Admin. I think we're getting into like wordplay here too. It says ABC. I'm not sure what exactly. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe that was for seeing, spotting that. So, God, maybe. God, does that mean there's other little teeny tiny microscopic code pieces around here somewhere? The computer doesn't work. <coughs> no power? Somehow I have to turn the power on. Oh man, there's a lot going on here. So, okay, so... No, not that. Alright, so let, let, let's recap. Real quick. In a room with a gold pillar, every now and then someone moves a jar and wood. The course of events changed thanks to which Robert saves Patrick's life. <laughs> I think, like, I don't know. It's not scary. The jump scares are obnoxious. The puzzles seem interesting, but just too much. Like that last room, I, I like. I could have figured out what to do. I think if I had known that I could zoom in on stuff, but you know, it, it never explained that. And then this room seems to just like spike the difficulty super hard. So there's pillar, jar, wood, Robert, and Patrick. Yeah, man, it's like one of those like haunted house CDs. So this over here says plus jar. This says part of the code panel is plus three, two, five. So I'm not even sure that's relevant to this other stuff. This says jar plus pillar equal computer, parentheses Patrick. I can't do anything with a computer. The computer says admin. says plus pillar and then points to this little bit of writing which says plus 98. So yeah, honestly, they're kind of starting to lose me here. It's getting a bit too complicated for my taste. And there are other messages around here. Robert is a murderer. Like, rude. Don't touch. Okay. They said something about cutting down that bear. Wait, 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 wait. There's something behind the bear. Oh, yeah, this is a test, duh. It reminds me of a cord, but I cannot tear it. I think a knife could cut it. written like numbers too that looks like a six that part looks like a one 26 so is maybe jars 
26198. Good try. Hmm. Incorrect code? Unfortunately not. I, hell yes, Cornudo. <laughs> you can tell me how to do this if you want. I am rapidly losing patience. I'm not. So, jar, I guess, means whatever we get off this piece of paper here. You can move that thing on the right of the screen. On the right. Not the... Under the white... Of this thing under oh power on but power oh 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 the screen needs calibration menu information Are you kidding me? All I can do is calibrate. What? What the hell? This, this screen needs calibration? Jar plus pillar. Jar. 640 by 40. So pillar is plus 98. I don't think, I don't think that's part of it. There's no trick to the cat. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. That's so lame. That's so lame. All right, so now I can enter things. Are you absolutely kidding me? Password. F4. Two, six, one, mm. oh, it's got to be admin. I try on the other one too. Huh. Incorrect code? <laughs> this coffee's got the right idea. All right, guys. I think I think we're pretty good on this one, aren't we? Because this is just getting annoying now. Sure, why not? Yeah, next. All right. Yeah, that was that. That's just getting obnoxious. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up how long this game is too, because I feel like it can't be that long with all the timers and stuff. It doesn't feel like there'd be a whole lot to it. All right, so that was play with me. We tried. We tried to play, but 
it just got weird. I might as well save, huh? Did I actually save? It did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Turn off the game. Thank you. The walkthrough is 10 minutes into an hour. Uh, ugh, ugh, okay. I got three out of a 10 achievements in that time. All right, well, I'm sure this last one's going to be a big hit. It's an RPG maker horror game called Lucy. I'm really curious about this one. I have, I have actually seen some indie RPG maker horror games that were pretty good, but I don't have any reason to believe this is one of them. Oh, how was um, Time Spinner? Time Spinner looks really good. Yeah, um, we, we decided to call that one after an hour because so many people in chat were like, yeah, we're, like, we're going to get it. So, all right. I might need to do some fiddling. I might not need to do some fiddling because it just went straight to full screen. <coughs> Let's see how this works. Let's see if this actually shows up. Oh my god, the... Oh! Hang on a sec. I got you guys. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Okay, I got you. <clears throat> All right, we're here. Hopefully, I can do this with the controller. All right, may not be suitable. If any of you guys are sensitive, fuck off. Show tutorial about can confirm cancel. That's it. There's just confirm and cancel. Yeah, I am playing with the game right here, right here, right here. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> no, my God. Whoa. She is on her feet. Game and strike. Yeah, we just saw that. Thank you. A plastic tree in a vase. An old wardrobe. A window sealed shut. All right, what the hell are you? A creepy doll with... There are some partially erased writings with a date on them. September 15th. Okay. A broken clock. An old wardrobe. A locked cabinet. The lost drawer seems unlocked. Open it? Yes! I got a room key. A messy bed. Item. A rusty key. Wait, I have status. <laughs> I wonder why it has HP there. Sometimes there are holdovers from the actual, uh, like, RPG part of RPG Maker. Uh, did you see the spooky person appear next to the wardrobe? I did. I am super spooked. Okay. Oh. Pro is the save device. Oh, this looks super promising. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good to know. First death, two minutes, 30 seconds in. <laughs> I did win after a fashion. A fancy candlestick. A dreamer's diary, read it. I watched myself sleep again last night. This time I walked as far as I ever did from my body. Like there are obviously more words on the page than that. <coughs> Day spoops show up, okay, cool. Okay, a painting of a young lady. That looks cool. I want some of that. All right, hang on a sec. I'll do this in order. The sign is illegible. Enter in the room? Sure. 
Oh, this one's foggy. Oh, there's tons of food, though. There's a piece of paper attached. One, two, three, four. It's the combination of my luggage. Good thing I checked that one indistinct barrel out of all six of them. A plate of smoked mackerel. Big vanilla cake with strawberries. Roasted turkey with some sauce. This feels like it might be a puzzle. Roasted piglet with some potatoes. I, I think I feel really weird about eating one of those whole, like, suckling pigs. Dreamer's notes. Although he's not intelligent, he does not like to be stolen from. Gate. Giant gate closed shut. It's better to not even think about what... There's spears back there. I am thinking about that right now, and I'm excited by the possibilities. I know. Like... Don't just crap out random diary entries like that. I, Cornuta, I'm right there with you. I don't want my food to look at me. Warehouse. Yeah, hell yes. <laughs> Manny. Oh, Manny. Crow is calmly observing the warehouse. Okay. Real quick story time. Uh, when I lived in Japan, one of my students took me out to this uh, pretty fancy restaurant that specialized in fried food, and I got a fried seafood platter because I really like fried fish. And it had all the like wide variety of, of fried fish, and like it was all really good. And then I got to one that was roughly triangle shaped, and I pick it up, and I take a big bite of it, and I feel myself crunch through the fish's jawbone. Like I can feel its little teeth. I can feel myself crunching through that and I realize they had deep fried the entire fish and I had bitten straight through its head. And it took all my self-control not to just start screaming that. I finished it, it was really good, but that's one of those things where like the perception really screws with your appreciation. Yeah, I can't do those giant, uh, the giant uh, shrimp that they cook with like the heads and the legs on. Um, my wife and my daughters, they actually eat these little, um, these little boiled gray fish. They're whole. They're just, they're like this big and they're whole and you boil them and like my wife actually mashes them up into paste and mixes them with rice. I can't do it. Cause they end up with all these little black dots, like little eyeballs in them. I'm just avoiding the shit out of the skeleton, but I am starving. Please help me find something to eat. Sure. Oh, wow. They're like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Box of fake fruits. Fake apple for a fake skeleton? <laughs> Four, five, one. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys are going to do that every single time. I am totally going to save and open the box, yes. Because I did. Yes. Take it. It's an... I cannot eat a plastic fruit. Stop messing around. Bring me... You are a skeleton. I heard that guy in the next room has plenty of it. Oh, yeah. There is food over there. All right. I'll just resave over that. I love poor decisions. Oh! I think we got tentacle speared. I think. Man, Lucy's life sucks. So I guess that... <coughs> the tentacle thing we followed in there crawled in that box. Alright, uh, what do you think a skeleton would want to eat? We were talking about fish, let's give him a fish. Oh, it's just, it just becomes generic piece of food. <laughs> the sound of the gate opening echoes in the holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is killing me. All right, so, whoa. 
Okay. Guess you replace a real apple. Oh, Absol, you genius! You brilliant mind, you. Alright, we should be fine. Yep, we cool. He looked too burly to get through that door anyway. <clears throat> you actually brought me an apple. What a dick. Do you think they <coughs> Do you think they actually meant passing through you here? Get no, you get out. Considering how often you die in this, I'm just gonna keep saving. Get out. Alright, fine. Whatever. You heard an unlocking sound. Well, that's probably the last door that we haven't tried, huh? Whoa, did I just Oh you can move diagonal in this, that's cool. There's some innovation for you. Oh no! Faceless monochrome lady. I used to spend hours exploring surreal scenarios and meeting beings that could only exist in dreams. Oh yeah, it is just a movie recommendation. They liked it so much, they just had to scribble it all over the floor. Yeah, I need to watch that too. <sighs> what, but what once was something that amazed me quickly turned out to be my biggest nightmare. My biggest jump scare. Oops. It's a silver candlestick. And the other ones were fancy gold. Alright, let's start over here. Why fake? Why is everything in here fake? No, a, a, a rustic... There's nothing rustic about that piano. What the hell? The girl who cried wolf. Yeah, why not? That was a boy who cried wolf. Yeah, murder bear. Oh yeah, it looks like the pink one totally effed up that blue in there. So he left his daughter, who always wore a red ribbon and a red dress, watching the village sheep. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The wolves then ate the flock and the girl. Well, yeah, she wouldn't lie again after that. Because she did. A teddy bear teared open. It was a matter of time until they would get him. But do you want to pass through? The doll's got the key. Okay. A doppelganger study. Sure. A wraith that casts no shadows and capable of changing its appearance and mimic a living person. They also attempt to plant sinister ideas in their victim's mind or cause them great confusion. Interesting. The portraits. Hunter in the Woods. The Increasingly Oppressive Foliage. Now those are some word choices right there. Pretty good one. Oh, that was pretty good. That was cute. It 
If this was an RPG maker, I think that would have been, that could have been a really effective moment. Jesus. Okay, that surprised me. Credit where credit's due. There is an invisible person sitting on the chair. What? <laughs> like, what is this game? The heck? Okay. It's getting weird. Do not believe their lies. Somebody's a Memento fan. Okay, they're trying super hard here. Oh god. Okay, so hang on a second. Do not believe their lies. Does that mean they're all lying? All the dolls but me are lying. I'm gonna try that. I'm curious. Assume they're all lying. Every single one of them. So that means the black doll tells the truth. And it's not the brown or the red one. Okay, it's not the brown or the black one. So that means it has to be green or blue. So it's not the blue one, so it has to be the green one. I'm over the green one. <laughs> okay, who said we're gonna brute force this? Because we're totally gonna do that. Let's try the black one. Yeah, I'll try red next. <laughs> so we tried green, red, and black. Maybe it's not any of them. Is the blue one. Okay, sure. Now what? Loud noises echoes from the doll room. Well. Gross. The duel is immobile. There's a craving. Okay, guys. The duel is immobile. There is a craving on her chest. Oh, Red told the truth. Interesting. She should have cried wolf once more. There's a fissure. Yeah, let's get right the hell in there. <coughs> they started to get aggressive. I couldn't understand. With each new dream, this house changes its shape.
Lucy too thick for that one. I think this got bloodied since the last time we were here. Oh, pink bear gone. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, so to recap. There is a giant slinky black monster running around in here. And the faceless girl saved us from it. Prince's paintbrush. Can't reach him. Paint what you want to use. <clears throat> I want to paint a ladder. Seems like a bad idea. And push stuff. <coughs> I'll come back to that in a minute. We have a bright red door now. Doll, the Skeleton King. How do I check him? Skeleton with no limbs in a prince's attire. Okay. Yes, I want to read the diary. So one time I found myself surrounded, but then this girl appeared. Wow, that was amazing. These are bad ideas or good ideas. a whiteboard. <clears throat> Painting of growing plants. Hmm. Oh, that's a thought, Cornudo. my buddy. Okay. Tell it to back off. Tell it to stay still. Okay, so he's just following me around. That's okay. <coughs> oh my god. Zerus, if you're right, I'm gonna be so pissed. What's up with these levers? I mean, that is in no way outside the realm of possibility. <laughs> the crow looks grumpy. I don't give a shit. This thing again. <sighs> Suicide booth. The best part about, like, the best thing about this game so far are the deaths. They're really funny. This is kind of a neat sequence. The armor guy's like, whatever. 
I'm just gonna have him break everything. Yeah. Good job, boyo. No, get the hell, get the hell out of my way. There we go. So now we need a blue switch. What the hell are these switches for? Maybe, maybe they're for a later puzzle. Maybe we're just setting them up to use. Ah, oh, boo. Something wrong happened? That's new. Oh, hey, go get this shit for me. Sound. Okay, yeah, you're out. You're right about the whiteboard. I just had to do them in order again. Unlocking sound, okay. Something is strongly pounding the door. Take a peek, open the door. Go on, buddy. This color. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no! A nice helm. There are blood all over the hall, suggesting that a conflict held place here. Yep. That's on me. Yep. Rip. Uh, okay. So that happened. Did I get anything from that? Paintbrush. Okay, and now we're somewhere different, cool. The statue. One night, mother, and you break. I call the most trusted babysitter. Totally creepy pasta stories, aren't they? <clears throat> Make haste. No, you. A locked cabinet. Oh, what is this all about now? Like, okay, we've been playing this for like half an hour. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know who this girl is. I don't know where she is. I don't know what she's doing. 17 seconds. 17 seconds in this room. It keeps going. I got a shovel. Nope, 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 nope. Blasted through that. A book about an android hunter. Whatever, I have the shovel. Thank you. 
flower vase, yellow flower, dazzling lamp, white flower, and it says white flower. It looks decidedly orange to me. Save and done timer room. Will do. When I leave this room, I'll keep an eye on the angel. Okay. Nothing happened. Let's see what happens. Did you hear a melt? Melting seems like the kind of thing you would do in a room like this. <clears throat> Why ain't it eating the furniture or anything? <coughs> Splat. That's kind of boring. Yeah, just poor, just poison, just boring run the mill poison. Because that noise is that. do you suppose that was? The girl protected me. They seemed to fear her. Oh. Again, super interesting. There we go. What? Right. Scarecrow, thank you for helping me out. Is the angel statue still here? Since it showed up, everything started to die. It does not belong here. Well, I think I know how Lucy's gonna handle this. She's just gonna smash it or something. I hear the sound of something crawling in the grass. Uh, sure. See what happened outside. The statue is gone. Spoopy whispers. They forgot to finish this tree here. It's cut off. Maybe that's supposed to be the top of it. Scarecrow, huh? Uh, same dialogue. I'm sure we'll get a jump scare out of that angel pretty soon. No, 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 no. 
There's another story about flowers somewhere. Is it this one? No, this is make haste. Flowers, 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 flowers. No, it's doppelganger. It's portraits. The last page of the print story had color order. Oh, really? Ah, violet, yellow, orange, white. Violet, yellow, orange, white. Was this start from here? Purple. Oh, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Let's try to play the switch. We got us. Oh my god, it's the ghost from, uh, what the hell? Is is the ghost from uh, Re uh, Evil Within 2. Everything turned blue and frozen. It came after us. I got weep angel. Alright, it was purple. And then... Yeah, okay. I'm going to save. Yo, what the fuck indeed? What the fuck indeed? Speaking of Evil Within 2, we will be getting as close as we can to the end of that on Monday, and then whatever's left we'll play on, we'll finish it up on Wednesday. And then any extra time we have on Wednesday, I've actually accumulated a few more random indie horror games, we'll play those then. Oh, what? Oh, oh, it reset. You can't save it. That sucks. Well, at least it's easy. So. <clears throat> I've noticed fewer and fewer people have been tuning in for The Evil Within 2, so I think it's a good thing we'll be putting that to rest. And then, the next progression game we're going to do after Evil Within 2, starting in November, is going to be the 2016 Hitman. That was a uh, subscriber request. I currently have two subscriber requests out. So I think I need to sneak around the table and get in the fireplace. <coughs> so there we go. Yeah, there's currently two subscriber requests out, um, Hitman 2016 and Celeste. So those are the next two games I'm going to be getting to for the Monday streams. If you're a subscriber and you don't have a request out, by all, by all means, make a request. I'll add it to the list and get to it when I can. <coughs> Excuse me. You can, uh, you can email me through the website, you can hit me up on Discord or Steam, Twitter, however you want to do it. Um, <coughs> that's right, jumping. Uh, try to get through anyway. Hell yes! We got this. I right, keep going, girl. You got it. You're fine. That was gross. 
That was particularly gross. <laughs> Thank you, Scoffy. <laughs> What do you want? What the hell? Girl, explain to me the beings are trying to erase me, so they're trying to steal my physical body. I feel like I trust this really is... Oh, this really is happening in, like, somebody's head, isn't it? What the fuck are you? Lamp with no battery. Is that a fairy? No, come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully this cough will be gone by Monday. <clears throat> That's the damn dolls again. You ruined everything to do what I say. Take the black screwdriver from the cabinet next to the green doll. Use it on the neck or shoulder of the big doll. <coughs> White screwdriver goes on the doll's back. You can't use the white screw. What? There's an invisible person playing the piano. What is this? Can't just take the scythe? <laughs> oh yeah, I should try to scare the fairy into the lamp, huh? Okay, so. neck or shoulder, so I should, okay, so, black screwdriver does not go in the neck or shoulder. White screwdriver does not go in the back. White screwdriver can be shoulder or neck. So black goes in the back, maybe? So I, th I think that was correct for the black one. Shoulder or neck. Wait, 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 wait. Not the back. <laughs> All right, well, we know where the black one goes at least. Shut up. The most generic page <coughs> page turning sound in the world. Mm. That's not what you do. I'm sure we'll be back. <coughs> So I'm pretty sure... <coughs> so that means white goes in the shoulder and black goes in the back. Or not. I don't know, I have to do this first. Too much. Too much! Too much click. <gasps> Hello, Captain Swing. Welcome to the very the last 20 minutes of the stream. Take the black. 
he's on the neck and shoulder. So, okay, black goes in the back. The white screwdriver goes on the doll's back. Okay, so it doesn't. Black goes in the back. So shoulder or neck should work, right? <clears throat> So I'm screwing up the white one. Oh, this one's annoying. Both went in the back. All right, well, that worked out somehow. Save again. bet we use that on the web to faint the... Oh no, we used to get this one. <clears throat> uh, it's so creepy. I didn't even realize there was a gap in the floor. The ground is soaked in gasoline. Wait, oh, I can push that. I don't really want to, unless I know what I'm doing it for. I right, guess. Oh, I need it to burn. Hopefully this doesn't get us killed. it will kill you. Not like there's any really, really any question. <clears throat> munch, 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 munch. <laughs> yeah, that tends to be my response to this coffee. <laughs> I hate sliding block puzzles so much. I despise them. So yeah. I mean, this isn't even much of a puzzle, it's just tedious. So we're tinderbox. Oh, come on, I didn't even... Get the fucking... You had to get the gasoline first. Or maybe leave and come back, I don't know. Okay. Alright, batteries. Yeah, if I could just hold the button and shove it all the way there, that would be one thing. But... <sighs> okay. Alright, 
This time we got it. Gasoline first, then tinderbox, then run like hell. Yeah, better than Resident Evil. <clears throat> I really enjoyed the Professor Layton puzzle games, but they always seem to have sliding block puzzles in them, and those were easily, easily the most miserable ones to do. I got 100% completion on both the ones that I have, but that included some sliding block puzzles that I really did not want to do. Here we go. Book it out of here. What the hell do you want? Shut up. Oh, come on. That doll is too stupid to catch us. Good lord. Alright, um, so I can, okay, so I can burn that web now. No. Yes, set that shit on fire. We're lucky we didn't set the whole house on fire. Presumably. What is this? So sparkly. Hmm. This is pretty. On September XX, she uses Cage of Conscious spell on me. I still can't get over that cabinet that just like fell on us and crushed us that one time. Oh my god, these dolls. <laughs> Scoffy, you just know all the codes, don't you? But I finally understood everything. That's weird. It just popped up a save prompt out of nowhere. How far would you go with this? The boundaries even for us do not make a fool of yourself. You've done enough to have your rest. I have a key, goddammit! Christ just happened. Can I grab one of these now? No, of course not. Why would you need a sword? Can I sword you? Oh, we got out. Oh God, are you kidding me? Kidding me? Jesus Christ! You found your sleeping body. A locked small box. Bad ending the girl with no shadow.
Okay, so... I wonder if that's supposed to be, like, different... Alright guys, <laughs> that was... That was Lucy. <laughs> How long was that? 55 minutes. I got I got the alternate bad ending in 55 minutes. I might look up what the other ones are, just to... <laughs> no, I bet if you... Maybe there was some hidden key that would have opened that little box in Lucy's room and done... A th I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So like, I, a couple of years ago, I tried writing some uh, short stories to submit to literary magazines. And I workshopped them a bit with my, uh, with my editor friends at work. And the problem I kept running into is I was trying to write stories that were too clever, that they were all predicated on a twist. Like I was twisting myself into knots, trying not to reveal everything until the very end, and they were like, you know, this doesn't make for a very good story because it's basically just the twist and there's no other content to it. And I kind of feel like this is the video game version of that. Like the entire game is just predicated on this twist that you are, I don't know, a, an aspect of her personality, a, a shadow person, a doppelganger, or what, and you're just trying to get out of this nightmare world that she's dreamed up for you. And that's it. Like, the whole game is just kind of based around that reveal because there's no other story to it. You don't get anything else out of the path there. It's just, it's entirely just the destination, so. Sex <laughs> You're making me think of that uh, Key and Peele skit, the sex detective. Oh God. Okay, so that was Lucy. Um. All right. So <coughs> I think what I'm gonna do, I'll review Lucy for tomorrow since I actually beat that one. I'll see if I can get anywhere else and play with me tomorrow night. I doubt it. Uh. <coughs> We'll pick back up with Evil Within 2 on Monday. Um, if you guys want to join me for that. If not, I totally understand. Um, also, 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 how old are you? You can request anything. Literally anything, Manny. As long as I can actually play it on Twitch, it's not something that's banned. You can request whatever you want. Um, Y'all... Keep an eye on our Discord. Discord's the best place to keep up with the news of what I'm doing. Um, keep up, uh, keep an eye on Discord or our Steam group or our uh, Twitter. I'm gonna have something special for next week, probably on Tuesday. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we might talk about it in Discord. We might talk about it on Monday. But I got a very special game that I'm gonna review and I'm gonna do something special for. So, yeah. Um, talking Pablo switching heads game. Oh, uh, Stray Cat Crossing. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full playthrough of that, you can certainly request it. <coughs> anyway, for right now, I actually, I need to go ahead and write up that Lucy review for tomorrow before I pass out. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was starting to fade near the end there. So yeah, if you guys have requests, email them to me, uh, hit me up on Discord or Steam, however you want to do it. But that is going to do it for tonight. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, Spooktober is almost over. We've just got five, five more reviews to go. Two more streams, maybe. Um, so yeah, thanks again for coming out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.